Michelle Uchiti. I want to get your first impression of this one. I, I, I've been pretty quiet about where I stand on it, so I'd love to hear you. Oh, so that's it? Just what uh, we put uh, on TT? Well, it's not a yes or no question. I think oh, okay. it, no, no, yeah. this, is, this is a please This is a please explain your answer. So it's a would you sell him <laughs> TT and why? Uh, this is an open-ended, uh, we're going we're gonna to grade on points. This isn't just multiple choice. You know, there's no, <laughs> there's no yes or no. But uh, no, 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 I thought it was, was going to be a, a, another uh, longer question than just that. But yeah, no, uh, sell him TT after, after from what I saw from, you know, this season, from him, like not accepting the medical recommendation of him, uh, you know, getting a, a medical treatment for his knee, uh, and then I would just, I would just say yes. I mean, my first, my first reaction when you asked, when you heard the question, it was like yes, just for the fact that, uh, like it or not, we found a replacement. Uh, Linklet has been solid, you know. Uh, he's been like he's been there. Like if we haven't pretty much uh, miss Umtiti at all through the whole season. And I'm just, I'm, my yes answer is just pretty much based on, on Umtiti's attitude towards uh, towards his decision of not getting a surgical uh, procedure on his knee. Because if he would have got it done early in the season, yeah, he probably might be coming back right now, which is kind of what is happening right now. But at least, you know, his knee would be more close to a hundred percent being healthy now is just treatment where he can just fall again on 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 that knee problem and and then what he's gonna need surgery for sure and then he's gonna miss more time uh, my decision is pretty much based on the attitude like you know that's something you as a professional i understand that you want to play that you want to you don't want to miss the whole season but you gotta see that you know a doctor he, which is another professional. He's telling you that you need surgery. Uh, I think I'm, you know, I'm gonna listen to the doctor. And then, you know, like, if the club wants me, they're gonna wait for me. You know, like, he's been proved last year that he's one of the best defenders in the world once, once he's fully healthy. Not being responsible in that aspect to me, it's it's just, it's a no for me. You know, it's kind of like disrespectful in my opinion. Yeah, I think that's a that's basically a thought experiment that, that we're going through is that with that knee injury, because of the way he's handled it, it seems like he's handled it personally. And again, you really when it comes to injuries, you never really know what kind of advice they're getting. And I, this is coming from Barcelona sources that they told him this thing and he denied uh, or he refused to go about it the way the club wanted to go. And you don't know where those sources are coming from. So. Uh, and it doesn't sound like a lot of information has come out of the Umtiti camp either. And he has played now five times since we got these uh, worries about the knee injury. And when it comes to those center backs, he is 25 years old. So I think that's a big question that must be asked as well. Is is he worth, and at the moment, until he goes down again, any club that purchases him knows that they're purchasing somebody who was a top maybe three defender in the world last year. I remember being on record many times on the show last year when we just we saw everything that he did his closeout his anticipation his his body uh, just i mean his strength just crowding guys off the ball just he was unbelievable at times last season and we know how good he can be we know how good he was for France in the World Cup and it, it is puzzling to me in at, at the nadir of his career at the age of 25 so i'm going to just i'm going to pop up his uh peak from usually a 27, 28, and I'm going to move that forward just a bit because I think, again, with knee injuries like that, that's going to take a year, two, or three off at the back end of his career. So let's move that up a little bit. And my worry then, you know, still becomes that if this is a permanent thing, if, if this is forever going to be just knee injuries over and over again, then Barcelona have to sell now. And it's almost out of necessity that if they're going to bring in Delict, then you have to sell him TT because you're going to sell him for the most that he's ever going to be worth. It's just as a sheer business decision, that's how I see it. And, you know, it's not a knee-jerk reaction to how he played against Villarreal because, again, he's coming back from a major knee injury that is still lingering. And just the way that they played with Alba and Roberto pushed up on the wings and Langley and Umtiti, both left-footed center backs who had never played together, if I'm not mistaken, had never been the partnership at the back in an important La Liga match like that, that... They were completely, their spacing was off, their timing was off. They had never really worked together. Um, and yeah, you'd expect that in training they would have figured those things out. But 
Uh, I would also assume that PK is usually at that right left uh, right center back spot in even in training as well. And uh, so my it seems like Barcelona have a buildup of of left of left footed center backs. But my thing says that if Barcelona are able to raise funds. And whether it's Coutinho who leaves, whether you think that they can raise enough through the per, through the sells the sellings of Denis Suarez and Andre Gomes and whoever or whoever else will say you know farther down the depth chart might be out the door. If you think you can get enough and keep him TD, I think you do that. I think you just trust that because of how good he's been in the past. If there's a belief that he can get back to 100, percent I think you let bygones be bygones. And so at at the moment, unless some information comes out or the club knows something and he knows something that we don't know about his knee and his future, I think I'm going to have to disagree and say no with this one, Jose. 